Jeff Ewa, welcome again to our program that is special moment with the Lord, 40 days of prayer. And today we are on and we are looking at testimony, a testimony. Uh, yesterday we looked at, a, a, you know, a very interesting interaction, revival and reformation, and we are focusing on reforms. And we are uh, praying for certain things in our lives that God may help us to, you know, uh, change our lives, being reformed and revived and, you know, uh, and doing a certain things. And we are here this morning and uh, we are sharing uh, testimonies of what God has done. And uh, as we begin uh, our, you know, worship this morning or our prayer moment this morning, I know there is something the Lord has done for you. I know there is a miracle that God has performed in your life, someday in your life. And I know he is still willing to do even more as you go through this for the days of prayer. So I want to invite you, think through what, what a testimony or what testimony do you have in your life that you can share with people? I will also be glad to, 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 you know, to know of your testimony. Something God has done for you in your life. It really, you say, this has taken the hand of God. Please, you can share with us, uh, share with me. Uh, many of you, those who be having my number, you can just call me or text me. Or you can write it on our website. We are going to appreciate. But let's hear what testimonies, what God has done as we continue in the season of prayer. Now, I want to invite you. As we begin, just for a very brief uh, word of prayer, let's pray together. Gracious Father in heaven, thank you. As we get into this uh, day today, Lord, we ask that uh, we, you be with us and give us the power of the Holy Spirit to uh, bless us and uh, uh, quicken our thoughts and our minds and uh, that we may have deeper desire for you and that this moment of prayer would truly be a moment of turning lives back to you, reviving, reforming, and equipping us for salvation. Bless us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, what came to my mind this morning, as even we share, is the text of Ephesians chapter 3, verse number 20. Yeah, Ephesians chapter 3, verse number 20. Now, the Bible says, Now, unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask, or think hmm. according to the power that worketh in us. And to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. You see, this text, Paul looks at struggles of believers, struggles of Christians, struggles so real in this life. Struggling with the burdens and afflictions, tribulations of every kind and shape. And he discovers that it is only by grace of God that we can be able to walk through this life. At times it gets so deep in us. It gets so difficult for us. And I don't know this morning, really, what is your experience? I don't know this day what is your experience of course i know some of you it could be afternoon it could be evening but whatever time you're watching this program right now here me is morning but i want to let you know this particular moment the lord understands your situation the lord understands your struggle the lord understands your cry the lord understands your pain the lord understands your desperation it may look dark but I can tell you for sure, he is the light. He has a way of causing light to come your way. And this morning, Paul says, unto him, unto him, who is able to do exceedingly abundantly, unto him, him God, unto him, this morning, I present you. Unto him, I lift you. Unto him, I surrender you. Unto him, who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think or imagine. I present you to him. I invite you to come to him. I invite you to have a moment with him. I invite you to sit at his feet because he is able to do more than we can imagine. You see, friends, in my experience as a Christian, God has proven to be a miracle performing God. In my life as a Christian, 
God has proven to be the only one I need in this life. The only one who changes situations of my life. I, I mean, I, I have proven, you know, God has proven to me that he is so near and it doesn't matter the experience, the situation, the circumstance. He is above all that. At times I've been, I found myself in ugly situations, difficult situations, and I've wondered, what should I do? When I look at myself in the face of what I'm, I'm struggling with, I feel so broken and nothing. But I then, then I put my faith and say, God, you know, you brought me into this. You have a way of taking me through this for your own will. I know this is not meant to destroy me. And for sure, I can tell you, I have seen God working wonders. If you, if you ask me, how God works, I'll tell you, I don't know how he works, but I know he has worked for me. He is working for me. I have experienced him. And Paul says, unto him, and I hear this moment to say, unto him who is able, who is able to deal with your pain this morning, who is able to deal with your tears this morning, who is able to deal with your struggle, affliction, brokenness, he binds the broken hearts together. He brings them together and binds them. He, he, it doesn't matter. It could be addictions. He is a chain breaker. He is able to do. And unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, and above all that we ask or think, I so present you this morning. And so what is your challenge? What is your request? Let it be known to him in prayer. And that moment is now. Just let it be known to him in prayer. Because he is able. Now share with me what God is doing in your life. Share with me what God is doing in your life. Because when we hear the things God is doing in our lives, then we know that he is powerful. And so friends, I want to give you more time this morning just to take time. I know it's a Sabbath morning uh, and, and the Lord is blessing you. Maybe you're watching this before you went, you go to church. I'm praying this. This may encourage you, may bless you, may give you energy. If you understand that you're not going to church because of a frustrated place, I invite you, just rise up. Come to the house of God. Come to the house of God. Go wherever you go to worship. Join with the brethren. It doesn't matter what situation is in your life. God is able. And unto him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, and above all that we can imagine and think, I present him according to the power that worketh in us, and that is power is the power of the Holy Spirit. He is able. Couldn't you join me in prayer? Won't you join me in faith? Won't you come along in these 40 days of prayer, challenging yourself that I want to be there at feet of Jesus every single day in the experience of 40 days of prayer. I know God is working out something. You could be jobless for many years and you're always dropping your applications here and getting regrets. It's fine. God knows exactly that. And I can tell you for sure, he shall make things beautiful in his own time and he shall come to give testimony. I mean, I'm saying unto him who is able to fix your marriage, unto him who is able to fix you on unemployment, unto him who is able to fix your health, unto him who is able to heal your brokenness, unto him. This moment, I present you. Gracious Father in heaven, thank you for the privilege of prayer. Thank you for the many blessings you have given us. Thank you for inviting us to come at your feet. A Lord, this morning, it's about you. And I present my viewers this Sabbath morning to you. You are able to do exceedingly abundantly and above all that we can ask or even imagine according to the power which works in us. That this morning, Lord, you shall visit my dear viewer, revive them, strengthen them, wipe away their tears. Fix their challenges, Lord. Fix their marriages, I pray. Fix their employment, oh my God. Fix their, their wanting care, oh God. Fix every situation and circumstance that makes them spend sleepless night. Lord, this morning, we are coming to you in faith that whatsoever we ask you in Jesus' name, you shall grant us. And I know my viewers are presenting 
different and various challenges in their lives before you, Lord, in faith. And Lord, I thank you because I know you are just and faithful. You are a gracious God. You have never turned away any of your children that have come to you in prayer. And my Father, I'm praying that this moment be a miracle working moment. Do something that they will come to testify of what we have done. As we journey through these Father days of prayer, Lord, unto you, unto you, oh my Father, you were able to do exceedingly, abundantly, and above all that we can ask and think through the power which works in us. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, dear viewer, for being with us this Sabbath morning in the experience of the 40 days of prayer. As you go about your worship today, I pray that your heart may be at peace. Fix your eyes on him. He knows you. He shall take care of you. Please share this message if it blesses you. If you have not clicked the button of subscription, please subscribe to our website, our channel, and share with as many friends as you can that they too may be blessed of the Lord as we go through the 40 days of prayer. Some people are not aware that we're having this experience, but please share with them as much as you can. May the Lord bless you.